for him getting the unlimited Gatorade, I think that we're gonna double down and we're gonna test our luck right here. So we're gonna hit, go straight on to the spot. Yes, yet again, we're gonna do it live right from the spot. We're gonna do this spin and see if we get unlimited something. Cause with everybody getting unlimited something, we gotta get Mike! Still murky, come on. We'll never lose. Good morning, I did 2K land, man. Check this out, man. Full disclosure, as always, man. Y'all did an outstanding job on the video last night about the proposal to Nurse Steel's 4,000 views of 340 likes and 100 and some odd comments, some of which that we're going to check out on that. The video that we dropped earlier that day, or the, or we ended up with 13,000 views, 870 likes, man. Y'all are the real MVPs. And as such, you know we gotta honor y'all every morning with the Noti Gang Wall of Fame. Any of y'all come through and just, you know, say first, speak your piece, say any of that stuff, we gotta put y'all up here, man, cause y'all helping us go to the moon, Alice. Hey, check this out. Hey, Jesus got Hey, that's uh, my boy Tay Too Sick was actually first yesterday. That's a real dude, man. That, check this out, man. He said, hey, how about they make it easier to get unpluckable instead of nerfing steals? Swear this bad system is draining me. Hey, if somebody says, all love, keep it up, bro. He said, bro, if I paid for a 91 steal, why in the world are they touching that stuff? Uh, they're, they better not touch this stuff, I swear. Give unpluckable a buff and leave steals alone. This is why this, uh, this might be my last 2K. And then some of the top comments, man, Hey, it just says, mad respect for your consistency. Just started tuning in on the 2K24, so I'm not an OG with the content. I'm seeing you're, you, I'm seeing you're definitely getting another OG supporter. So, hey, that's dope right there, man. And last but not least, Main says, St lane steals were too frequent in, in the last 2K. It was a crutch for non-defensive builds. I definitely give, I definitely uh, believe in that. It said, you could have a 90 pass rate and every, I mean, and everything was being intercepted by a 5-7 uh, bill using silver interceptor. You're absolutely right about that, man. And that's why we always say we don't want them to make changes as much because we really just want to play the game, see how the game goes, and just go from there, man. But thank y'all for joining us today, man. We got a great show for y'all. And without further ado, yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video man check this out man make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below so y'all can be featured on the noti gang wall of fame and the top comments man also we want to make sure we get the 200 likes in the first 1500 views so that way that you do you can get out there in the youtube algorithm and we can get this thing really going to the moon Alice. now one of my supporters i guess they did this to troll me for no other reason they said aj who who would i contact if i want a limited gatorade but didn't receive my reward and my response is you know what our response is we do not care hey man look uh you gotta contact just contact 2k support man uh, he just showed that he got the uh unlimited gatorade and all of that good stuff man and in honor of him getting the unlimited gatorade i think that we're gonna double down and we're gonna test our luck right here so we're gonna hit go straight on to the spot yes Yet again, we're going to do it live right from the spot. We're going to do this spin and see if we get unlimited something. Because with everybody getting unlimited something, we got to get... Mike! What are you... 500? What am I going to do with that, bro? I can't even buy Gatorade with that. I can't even buy one Gatorade with that. Hey, it is what it is, man. Anyway, my boy Shakedown, he put this up here, man. He said, I figured out why I'm having so much trouble shooting NBA 2K24. Your shot timing cue... Uh, might be on eyes closed. The feet. <laughs> this feature is for only the best shooters. Make sure <laughs> make that uh, make that change if you're putting up those bricks. And we talking about all wide bricks, all wide bricks. And so this, look at this, look at this dude, man. He's with eyes closed. They got the mic with his eyes closed shooting free throw. Look at this man. And then he just photoshopped the thing in, man, with the eyes closed. Shake you a troll, man. That's my guy, though, 100%. That's my dog, man. But, hey, if you're having trouble shooting, I'm going to be putting out a, a, a shooting video later today, man. Y'all make sure y'all tune in for that. It's going to give you guys some very good tips and insight on how you can improve 
uh, you're shooting and all and all of that good stuff, man. Hey, Casino says Baluba, please. So it all started. This is what it all started with right here, man. Mike came out and he said some stuff, man. And uh, he said, Casino says Baluba, please don't nerf or buff anything. The game is playing amazing right now uh, on, with pro play and it's going great. It's actually a very competitive game now. Mike came through and he just said, there are no plans to buff or nerf anything when it comes to on-court gameplay for at least a couple months. We're all we're only looking to address game-breaking issues and obvious bugs at this point. So when they're talking about game-breaking issues, hopefully they're talking about the lag that some people are getting um, in these parks and stuff. Like I said, I don't get that much lag or latency in the theater. The latency in the game has always been there. So for anybody that's trying to tell you that dribbling just became awkward this year, perhaps they just started dribbling this year. But I was talking to T and T was like, it's been like that, bro. I don't know what people are talking about. Like it's always been that you throw, you throw so many combos or what have you. And then um, you know, you, that's why sometimes you they would do moves and he'd be wide open and he'd say, dang, I ain't expect that move to get me this wide open. But uh, that's always been a little bit of delay on dribbling and stuff like that. So it's, this is not new or unique to this game. So I, I don't know where that whole thing came from, but hey, it is what it is. But at any rate, um, I will say that we have heard this before, Mike. Uh, last year they said that we, you know, we we're gonna leave it just how it was, and there was no plans to change anything. And then we came back, and then the next patch that dropped like a couple of days later, it completely changed the game. It was, it was a completely different game. You couldn't get plucks, and then we had gone to back to the Mazda style of uh, play, you know, the zoom, zoom, zoom that uh, we did not enjoy in 2K22, and thus were forced to endure in 2K23. So I hear what you're saying. I really appreciate it. I like it. But we heard it all. I heard it all before. We heard it all before. And uh, and like I said, the last time we heard that particular uh, line of discourse, they changed it like literally like the next week or something like that. He's like, we ain't had no plans to change anything. And then they did change it. And then you couldn't get steals. They nursed steals into the ground. And, uh, you know, you weren't able to really do anything. But, hey, I digress. It is what it is. Up next, we got Dime Works says, one person said, great for all protection. Stand with the ball on, on the side of the lock great job and uh he said exactly what exactly why i didn't entertain it sometimes uh sometimes i wonder if these guys are serious now i did talk to my boy t and he says you can't get actually ripped out of l2 um like it doesn't matter when those guys can run up and take the ball you hadn't made a movement you hadn't done anything you can't get ripped out of l2 you can't get ripped under in situations where you shouldn't now i'm wondering when you can get when you're getting ripped out of l2 is it because of the delay and you thought that you hit l2 and you did hit it but it just didn't kick in for you yet so i'm wondering if that's what the case is uh somebody can probably correct me if i'm wrong or we can try to we can try to see what's going on with that or we can try to test it out we can do whatever we want to but uh hey uh, we'll just see how that goes up next that boy splashy says for sure uh, for sure everybody enjoys their play style but casuals telling pros that the, that the stuff they think is wrong is ridiculous see i think that the problem splashy is the fact that you're going to casuals versus pros when you do that you you are okay so we talked about respect earlier this year and i'm sure that people don't care what i say but we talked about respect the other day now when you're saying casuals versus pros and you calling yourself a pro everybody has it in their mind you're a pro at a video game okay as a matter of fact the casuals are saying bro it's a fucking video game like you're talking about being a pro at a fucking video game not something in real life a video game and so even though the money is real and you do you are getting paid oh don't don't they, they just thinking that they see it as whether it be right or wrong for better or for worse as something that they could do if they put enough time into see i can't go be lebron james if i and it don't matter how much time i put in i can't be kevin durant no matter how much time i put in but these guys and but these guys feel like the only thing that separates you from them like i said right or wrong is that your time, the amount of time that you have to commit to the game. And so when you say casuals versus pros, they just look at you as somebody as, like again, for right or for wrong, as somebody that has way too much time to play the game and that's all that separates you. And they're thinking if I had that much time, I would be just as good. Again, you can't be LeBron James, you can't be Bishon Robinson, you can't be Michael Vick, but they feel like they could be you. For, for right or for wrong. So when you call it, when you say casuals telling pros, there's no, that's not gonna be a whole lot of respect there and nobody cares. And so they're gonna say, well, shoot, if you're so much of a pro, then why are you complaining? I'm just telling you the idea, the ideology behind what they're saying. They feel like the, the, like the distance between you and them, even though the distance between you and them is light years, 
they feel like the distance between you and them is only two or three hours a day. So when you're not gonna win any fans saying casuals versus pros, casuals telling pros and, and you know, being the whole elitist thing, cause they're gonna say, well, if you're such a pro and you're so good at the game, then why are you getting ripped by me and I'm trash? And your whole point is, I shouldn't be getting ripped by you who is trash because I'm a pro. But the only thing that separates you from being a pro and them being a casual is the amount of times you have to a lot toward the game. And so, like I said, for better, for worse, for right or for wrong, that's how they feel and you're not gonna win any fans. And so that's why people are not gonna agree with you on that. Not saying that you gotta change the way that you are, but I'm just saying like with that approach, you're not gonna win any friends. Nobody's gonna care about what it is that you're saying. So like if you maybe maybe adjust that a little and then they'll be like whatever. But we, we spent too much time on that. Anyway, and y'all let me know if y'all think that down in the comment section that you know when somebody starts that about starts that on and gets on that elitist track if you uh if you just shut them down immediately and say I don't I don't care you just get what you deserve anyway um uh under undertake undefeated says the shot clock the shot clock did like see some of these um some of these uh uh joints right here and uh it just said this is uh OG Grandmaster Sensei saying 93 ball handling versus silver glove and you really gonna run away from from your defender like that it's a football game you know and then he said the shot clock didn't make it didn't make it to 20 uh, didn't make it to, didn't make it past 20 in any of these clips dude really couldn't dribble for uh for four seconds or whatever and so this is what we're talking about i think this was was this a no i don't know who this was i think it was anonymous or what have you but you know people getting um people getting ripped in this thing man and I, like i said bro the biggest thing with this is we we do need to come to some type of amicable decision or or a thing but we know what's going to happen we know that 2k can't tone things down or ratchet it down there's no middle ground just like i said on the video last night we know 2k works off thresholds 75 you can hit 74 you're probably not gonna hit very much even though there's the difference is one number we know that there are tons of hard thresholds this is why the game is how it is so when they ratchet it down so something either happens with high frequency in this game at a number it corresponds with a number it happens at a high frequency or it happens or it uh or it corresponds with the lower number and it happens at an insignificant frequency so at 91 you can hit some limitless range shots right but you're gonna hit the same as a person that's 80 but with 92 you can hit almost all your limitless range shots. That's just how it is. And that's how it always been with 2K. So saying tuning, toning, that's just people speak for just get it out of the game, really, because we know that it's gonna be gone. Up next, we got Timothy saying, hey, what's crazy is the bills that can't dribble don't get ripped like that. That's absolutely correct, because I hardly ever get ripped and my bill can't dribble to save his life, man. I mean, it is what it is. Hey, uh, Splashy came back and he just says, hey, this is, a, this is way better right here. He says, nobody wants the game to fully erase lockdowns but dudes dudes want stuff to be toned uh toned down just a bit but we know that's impossible that's the only thing i'm saying uh if you think that lockdowns with gold badges and silver badges uh uh gold badges and silver because it's a rare percentage what, what are you trying to say what is it if you think a, if you think that a lock with gold badges and silver because it's a rare percentage that have hall of fame uh I, I don't know what he's trying to say. Maybe just saying, hey man, listen, uh, you you know, everybody's doing this with gold and silver because not that many people got Hall of Fame and uh, and and that's just what it is. But uh, let me see, get, okay, they, they can get a steal with no bump, with no bump every play, then my Hall of Fame dead eye should, uh, that should let me walk around the court and and click square if if it if he doesn't have challenger uh that's the logic i, I mean I, I see what he's trying to say so he's saying that i should be able to just shoot in y'all face if you ain't got hall of fame challenger if you can steal the ball from me with gold and silver uh glove i i get what you're saying but i feel like you, you it's not wrong i just feel like we should be able to take the ball when you make a mistake that's the only thing that I'm hating, hating. Like, I don't like the fact that these dudes are running around masquerading as really good defenders either. I want good defense to reign supreme, but we've already slowed the game down. It's already less responsive than it was on day one. And like, things have already changed. We can't get as bumpy and like, you can't get no interceptions. And with that, with all that being the case, it's like, it's, it's kind of tough to say, you know, that um, it's kind of tough to say that they got to just nerf the steals or, up the bads i don't think that they could just up the a version of unpluckable either i think that if they do it it goes to all of them and so like i said we know what the game is going to change to and that's the problem y'all know what this game is going to turn into and y'all are fine with the game turning into that as long as it suits your play style and to me that's really a move 
That's it's, it's, it's just no other way to call it because you know that it's going to ruin the game, but it will fit my play style. So I'm fine with ruining the game. And I just, I, I just, I, I don't rock with that, man. It is what it is. Up next, Be Like Dime says, hey, any, anyone who thinks steals are broken, I challenge you to try using the, uh, that try using an active LT uh, the next time that you come across a spammer. Uh, let's see if you if you get if you're still getting ripped, post a clip under this tweet. In, in my experience, you get you you can still get ripped in LT in previous two Ks. I've yet to have it happen in this one, and so uh, I think Sid came through came through on the and um and then so then black cobra cobra said imagine not using the mechanic specifically designed to protect the ball and complaining about steers and then splashy said imagine not seeing the repeated clips of dudes posting themselves in lt i mean in l2 uh without un with and without unpluckable and complaining about dudes uh complaining about steals like i said i don't know i, I mean i play with brute he don't get picked that much it sucks when he does i play with t we don't get picked that much it, it sucks when it does but hey uh it is what it is but like i said man i mean i'm not telling you it's not a problem and i've been saying that the entire time i'm just saying i don't know what the solution is because y'all know that if we go the other way with the solution then we know what's going to happen if we do that instead of just trying to play through it so i i don't know um let me see and then this one person said locked up so one dude says these dudes expect you to to completely turn your back to the rim as a guard they expect to they expect you to, con to constantly play against locks like that i'll pass man i didn't i didn't make the point guard to start throwing to start th throwing my back on locks that spam square and then the other uh he said that locks didn't play didn't make their beard to watch you combo in their face either man now my boy c six seven he did come through and he said that uh he said Kyrie is showing y'all how to protect the ball but see said if you do that in a comp game against comp players uh you're gonna get plucked about five times a game easily so so if Sid says it you know like i said he's not saying this is actual issue but we need to do something about it and last but not least my boy i hit the wrong button i was gonna try my boy uh, my boy uh, Lag got one of the best centers in the game says it's been a week into the game and we're already trying to nerf and buff everything without even trying to adapt another year same stuff and that young man is a pro he should be a center in the league he probably will be this year as much as he wants to he didn't he didn't done everything that they want him to do and he's still one of the top guys he could play probably any position and do his thing and if he says it that you know what we just need to try to figure it out a little bit more then i will believe him on that also we won that game just in case y'all was wondering but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man is it just a lot of cry do we just need to see it out for right now or do we do do they need to make the change right now i don't know man i'm on the side of let's keep it how it is because it's not game breaking and there's other things to address at this point in time but a lot of people just feel like nah we need to change it right now i can't play another second if they don't change it let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man make sure y'all hit that like button because we get if we uh we got to get to uh, 200 likes within the first uh to uh, one, uh, 1,500 views, and uh, that'll get us in the algorithm. Also, get your tees in the breeze when you're rocking with breeze tees, our t-shirts and stuff down in the description. And I will holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.